Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Mateo Blanco here. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to maintain platinum blonde hair and how I do my root touch-ups and how to get to this level of blonde while still keeping the integrity and then also the shine and the bounce and yeah. Basically the Mateo look. But this is me in the future, so let me take you back to just this morning. I get asked a lot how I maintain my platinum, I guess, white hair. Especially since it's pretty long. Yes, I do bleach it on my own. It's like pretty healthy for, you know, having short hair. But yeah, I bleach my roots every three to four days. Which sounds crazy, because at the hair salon they tell you to wait maybe four weeks minimum. And I'm over here doing it like three to four days. But I hate roots on me, so... I mean, if it works for me, then it works for me. It's Monday today. I bleach my hair every Monday and Friday. It just so happened to be Monday today. So we're gonna go ahead and bleach it today. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys also like what treatments I use and what leave-in conditioners I use, what shampoos I use. And hopefully if you want to join the Blontourage, then maybe this video will help you. But I'm not licensed, nor a hairstylist, or learn any of this online, so... Bleach at your own discretion. I mean, I've had bleach hair for two years now, straight. The fact that I've been able to maintain it is a lot. It used to take me four hours to do everything. Two bleach processes, toner, waiting it out, and like all this stuff. I managed to tweak it down to like an hour and a half. Believe it or not, I don't actually use any toners. I just use color depositing shampoos and conditioners. I mean, it's less damaging for like a long-term blonde. I am going to Atlanta, Georgia for the first time tomorrow. So we need to go ahead and touch up these roots today before, you know, we leave. I hate doing my hair overseas. Overseas, okay, babe, you're still in America. I hate doing my hair like not at home because I don't have my space. So before we go ahead and dive right in, I'm actually gonna go to the gym. I like to get my workouts in before starting my day. And it also kind of like helps bleaching your hair a little bit too because your scalp is already like warm as it is. That's what kind of helps it like process a bit. And then when I come straight from the gym and start doing my hair, my scalp is a bit warmer. But yeah, see you guys when I get back from the gym. So I just got back from the gym and I did sunbathe a little bit in case I look a little bit more red than before. And plus sweating right before the gym also oils up your hair a bit more. So it doesn't really like burn your scalp. It's like burning all like the dirty oils and all this stuff instead of your actual scalp. So I mean, look at this hair. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? I just want to give out some pointers first and I do it every four days as I said you literally can't see it because it's like covered up but I make sure that underneath my hair it's not perfect I make sure that I have one yellow band right here and obviously the root but I purposely never make it perfect so I can always take the bleach from here to here I leave mine yellow so I can actually do it every single week yellow just means it's not as processed as this this has more capability of taking another hit with bleach eventually this just grows out to be white on the next round and then also on every root touch up I also switch the direction that I'm bleaching my roots so one time I'll actually do my roots from here this way just because then this part is going to be processing more than like this part and then on the next time i'll do from here to here and then this part's going to be processing more than this part so i switch it on and off they switch sides on which side gets more processed than the other if that makes sense again i'm not licensed and i'm not a hairstylist i'm just doing what works for me and what makes sense in my own head i like to bleach this part more than this part so let's go ahead and start this bleaching process i use it's from l'oreal it's the quick blue i'm pretty sure everyone knows this bleach but i mix the quick blue with the matrix pre-bonded the pre-bonded bleach is already mixed in here so i'll just add a picture of the matrix bag right here it's really good it lifts a bit higher but i mix it with this one only because this one gets the job done and it's a lot more cheaper but matrix is better but since i literally bleach my hair every three to four days this is kind of like a filter work smarter not harder and then for my sides back here i mix that bleach mixture with 
Slunk Hair Level 30 developer. On the further top, I use 20 volume developer, except this one is from Blonde Solutions. It's already pre pigmented with purple, so it kind of tones the yellow down. And I mix this with Blonde Me developer, which the Blonde Me is oil based. And then I also mix the Blonde Me with this one too. But yeah, so here are our two bowls. We're gonna go ahead and start with our sides first. And then I also use one of these mirrors, the ones that like split and show you like every single side. Let's get this started so the root is more noticeable down here so we just go ahead and do it right below that line and then we go on the other side this mirror comes in handy so much i literally travel with it if i'm planning on bleaching my hair i'm literally just doing this side but i don't know why when i look in the mirror i can't tell what side to which so i don't like going like this i literally go all the way around and like touch it again don't judge me I know everyone uses gloves, but I just bleach my hair so often. I am not gonna be putting on gloves every second. I can't be bothered. I'm like almost 100% sure it's not good for your skin. But everything gives you a disease or gets you sick nowadays, so. And then I just reapply it just so the heat stays in. I don't know who is walking in the damn corridor, but they have like some big ass feet. I honestly thought about going brunette already, but I kind of like how consistent I've been with my hair also. And there you go. The sides from here below are processing now. And let's start with the top. This bleaching time, I actually have to start on the other side of my head. Oh my god, do I look like all this? Or am I giving like lace arena? Do you guys see these bands? That's a good thing, at least for me, for short hair. They wouldn't let you walk out with this if you had long blonde hair. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the 20 developer one that is for the top. I always have friends ask me to do their hair or tell them how to bleach their hair. And I guess now I can just send in this video. I let this process the entire time that I do the top part. And then when I'm done with this top part, that's when I add more bleach to this part. So I just want to make sure that the bleach goes from this yellow band. When the breakage comes if you overlay it. And then we go ahead and split that part, press it into that bleach so it stays down. I mean, at this point, the blonde hair is just marketing to me because that's what I did most of my media with. And I mean, my last name is Blanco, so that kind of goes with the theme too, so. Also, I just watched the movie Damsel last night and it was actually really good. These mirrors are so confusing. I'm like, which one do I look at? Not me making blonde my whole personality. So yeah, we don't want to touch the ends. There's basically no color. I like to do small sections. That gives you more precise versus like doing big chunks. I like to make sure it's flat. That's why I hold it with my other hand. See, if I was wearing gloves, this would be a lot more messier. So yeah, I don't want the root to actually match this. It would be $150 every session for roots which is low-key pretty cheap because i am taking some slots out of her day where she could be doing like actual long hair and like be making more money but i was friends with her daughter so she didn't really mind i would do my roots once a week but in reality i wanted to bleach my hair eight times a month people who do their hair if they notice anyone else on the street that has roots it's kind of giving oh they haven't maintained their hair so when i see a guy with roots showing to me that just looks like oh they, they can't maintain it or they aren't maintaining it so i like to make sure that my roots are always maintained you belong on this side sweetie I will let you guys know my mistake before I really learned how to like just manage my own hair. So there was this one time where my hair did break off and it was super super bad. I know I don't have like super like shoulder length hair but I did cry because part of the feminine boy look is hair. I mean come on you still have to have like long hair and basically i had blonde hair and i forget what event it was but i had a dye it brown and i don't know why but at that time it didn't cross my mind to do like brown hair that isn't permanent so i box dyed it brown at that time i didn't really like the brown i was like okay let's go back to blonde and normally like my hair is like super strong and can literally take anything anything since it's like super thick so i was like whatever my hair can take it and i bleached it the next day 
after I box dyed it brown and it came out perfect. It was beautiful and I managed to do it. I got white hair literally the next day and it looked nice. Whatever, I went to Las Vegas right after. So I rushed it. I never rush going back to blonde hair when I go blonde. Normally it'll take me like a week to get to blonde just to space out the bleaches. But that time I did bleach it after like 24 hours of having brown hair because I was in a rush and just in my head I was like, oh my God, my hair is like immortal. They can do whatever. And so I bleached it. And then the week after I was gonna fly out to London for a month. And basically I bleached it again after I had just color removed my brown hair. I saw so much of my hair falling in the shower. I was like, no way. So whatever, I kept washing my hair like normal and they just kept falling, but I still wasn't that worried because I did understand it. I did go a little crazy with the bleach. Hair was like missing. I was like, oh my God, whatever. I'm a Libra, so I, I look at both sides and I was like, at least I still have hair, so can't be too sad about it. And I can just cover it up with like the remaining hair. I went to London, everything was fine and jiffy. It was the fact that I had like a trip coming that I was like, oh my gosh, why now? Like, why couldn't it be like some other time? I was like, what can I do? I can't even film collabs looking like this. I look like the doll from Toy Story. And I also thought about it and I was like, if my hair grows out while I'm in London, you're gonna be able to notice it more because the roots are black and the ends are white. So I was like, how can I relax it a little bit? Like just so it's not as noticeable. And I dyed my hair pink. It helped a little bit, but still it wasn't up to my standard. And then I got a haircut too, which made it even worse. I was like, oh my God, what the hell do I do? And I just slept on it and like thought about it. And every single day that I would wake up, I look at the pillow and like the bedding and there was just like, a mound of hair every single time I woke up. No, 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 no. I dyed it pitch black and I put on like the spray, this black spray on like all like the bald spots. So just so it's not like as noticeable. And just that whole London trip was so, I don't know, it brought me down so much that I was like, I'm never gonna visit London again. It just brought back so many like bad memories. But obviously eventually I went back just to win over that day. I think my hair finally grew back out in four months for me to feel okay. But the whole time I was like, oh my gosh, my femininity is gone. I was like, what am I gonna do? My money's gonna go down because I'm not gonna be working. Filming collapse and all this stuff. I don't wanna see anyone. I don't wanna see my friends. I don't wanna go out. Like, It sounds like I'm being dramatic, but it was pretty dramatic to me at that time. I mean, it would still be dramatic to me right now. The hell? So we already finished the top part. Then what I do is I lift up all the hairs. No one screenshot this. All the insides are like bleach. Just so it's like an even bleach because we don't want just one side to be warm. Like this. Jesus. I can't believe I'm allowing myself to look like this in front of you guys. Touch up these frontal parts, which is like the, obviously the most important part because that's what you guys see. Section it to touch up all the middle parts. Turn off the light in here, baby. You know what I need, want you to see everything. And then next section, especially because I do like this a lot, I grab my hair. There's this meme in the blonde community that like, I just switched my ringtone to a more annoying one because I keep missing all my text messages. I don't know why I can't hear the other one. I honestly think I am like kind of going deaf a little bit. And then after I do all the middle parts, I like to push this back and then hit it again, but like just the frontal. Because again, that's like the money piece. We want to make sure those are perfect. So no, I am not perfect. And then I normally leave the bleach on for 45 minutes. But when I'm doing like an event or like doing something where I need to look like perfect, I leave it on for an hour. And that day is today because I leave for Atlanta tomorrow. Girl, I don't even know what to do with these hairs. I've never had my hair this long in my life, so I don't even know. Ugh. Oh, I look like I just came out of Dragon Ball Z. Let me put on my timer. So we're gonna go ahead and retouch the dried bleach just so it gets activated again to work because no days off for my hair. And now we're gonna go ahead and hit the top part. Every time it crosses my mind to go brunette, the only people holding me back is Lady Gaga, specifically the music video GUI, and Daenerys from Game of Thrones. Like their platinum hair just looks so good. So yes, my blonde hair is my whole personality. And also Marilyn Monroe, an icon. 
since I am covering every little hole of air, it's getting a lot more warmer and I basically don't need the saran wrap and I don't need the foils and the heat because my head is pretty warm, especially after the gym. See, like this is literally more than enough bleach to leave it as is. But I like it so fun. Yo, that jacket is tight, son! I like to make it look like it's like a little cap. Nami! Yummy! And it looks like we are done. 20 developer, 30 or no. 30 develop. Oh my god, I did it again. 20 developer. 30 developer, done so. All right, it's been one whole hour, time to take a bath. I'm gonna take you guys in with me and show you all the shampoos and conditioners I use. Yeah, watch me take a bath. I'm just realizing it didn't get recorded when I give you guys the product for my shampoo combo. But basically, I use the Olaplex clarifying shampoo and I mix that with the Paul Mitchell clarifying shampoo. And for the toning part, I use the Joyco blue color shampoo. It's like attached to the wall. But I also use the Fanola purple shampoo. So this is the first round of shampoo. It's the blue and the purple mix. And the purple gets rid of the yellow tone. And then the blue honestly just makes it more of a cool tone blonde. And next we're gonna go ahead with the clarifying shampoo. It basically gets rid of like all the residue from the previous. We're gonna go ahead and leave this on for maybe three to five minutes. Okay, so it's time to wash this off. So this is right after. I washed off the blue and everything. Now it's time to do a conditioner. And I use, I use the purple Malva from Aveda. And then I mix that one with the one I showed you guys earlier, the Fanola Deep Conditioner. It's so good. And then the X Mondo Supernova Deep Conditioner. Am I giving John Travolta? And I'll see you guys in a bit to wash this off. All right guys, I'm fresh out of the shower. It turned out really white and pretty. And as you can see, there is still a yellow band, but that's what we want. We don't want this to match with this because this is hinting lifeless and the yellow bands are hinting, oh, we still have some life for like another bleach. I really cooked in there. And you could stop here. A lot of people like it just like this. You know what they say about blondes. We always see yellow. It's still a little bit too warm for me. So once this air dries, I'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys back and show you my leave-in conditioners and also the color depositing I add afterwards to make it like less warm. So see you guys when it's dry. All right, we're back with some damp hair. It's not completely dry, but that's what we want. Once it's like damp like this, I put on some bonding treatment by Olaplex. It's the oil one. And it just makes it so much more easier to manage. Oh shit, I literally did it all the way back there. After I put on this leave-in conditioner, I don't know why I'm showing you the bottle because it's the ordinary, but I ended up using it to put in all my little mix. But basically what's in here is all of the leave-in treatments by Olaplex and then also all the leave-in treatments by K18. So this little thing probably has maybe $200 worth of product in here. And then I mix all the Olaplex and the K18 with this coconut leave-in conditioner. And I'll add all the products in the description so you guys can buy it if you guys want or if you're interested. And so we're gonna go ahead and put on the leave-in conditioner, but like I mentioned before, I know a lot of people could just stop here, or honestly, I kinda like it. Should I just leave it like this this time? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, so I'm gonna skip out on this part, but I'm gonna explain it. If it comes out too warm, I'll just mix some of my little mixture, and then I'll mix it with the Brad Mondo Supernova leave-in foam to like get rid of warm tones. So we're not gonna use Brad Mondo today, but I love that Brad Mondo product. You do it from the root first. And then I put a little bit more and I do it more towards like the back section. And yeah, all the leave-ins really save your life. K18 and Oloplex are really the GOAT. I like how people who just follow me for other stuff and are watching this are probably like, what the hell is Oloplex? And then next we're just gonna comb it out. I slowly start turning it this way so it can just like naturally stay at that place. So yeah, I know this looks a little weird, but let it dry this way. So when I actually go out, when I go like this, it has like a lot more volume. And I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry. It turned out super cute, super rare. Super rare. All right, I'm back. This is the color. I literally look like that one girl from The Incredibles. Mirage or something like that. Mirage? I don't know. You must be Mr. Sing so... Now when I actually style it like this, 
There's like a bit more volume now that I had it like laid down the other way. Ugh, I love the look of a fresh touch up. We did it with no toner. We just used shampoos and conditioners and we got this color. Look at that shine. I love platinum hair. And then my roots start growing out. That's when I'm like, ugh, I want to go brunette. Since we're talking about toners, I don't want to discredit this Supernova toner because I actually use this every single time I bleach my hair. I don't know why just today. I think it's because I started sunbathing that I guess my hair just lightened a bit more with the sun. I hate how the one time I'm actually recording how to bleach hair is the one time I don't use what I use every single time. I'm just that type of person who really hates yellow in hair. So sometimes I do go overboard with this. Another thing that does really help me with growing my hair and keeping it healthy, I have silk pillowcases. Imagine a fresh root touch up with a self tan and a bronzed face. Oof, my god. Let me give you guys a close up. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And if one of you guys are actually trying to go platinum blonde, comment down below on how it turned out and let me know. Keep me updated. But yeah, see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.